I want to talk about now how to uh, graph lines by plotting points. All right, so for these problems, they give you some kind of a uh, equation and they tell you what X values to use. What we do is we fill out the table. We're going to get a list of points and we can use those to plot and then just connect them together with a line. Now for something like this, X minus Y equals one. It's always better if, if it's solved for Y, because it'll make the table easier. That way you don't have to keep solving for Y every single time you do that. If we solve for Y in the beginning, then we can just plug the X values in and get the answer there. So I'm going to subtract X from both sides and I get negative X plus one. So I just simply move that across the equal sign. When you move it across the equal sign, it becomes negative on that side. So move it across becomes negative. Now I wanna divide everything by negative one. And I get positive Y equals positive X. And then I have minus one. So that would be the equation solve for Y. That's how you would do that. So again, you take the, uh, you just basically what I did is I just subtracted X into minus X on one side and minus X on the other side. That's why it's negative here on the right-hand side. Notice I have this on my table already. I have Y equals X minus one, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna evaluate. So we're going to plug in the negative two into the X, simplify it, and that's gonna give me my Y coordinate. So I have Y equals negative two minus one. So I get Y equals negative three. So when X is negative two, I get Y is negative three. So I get the point negative two, three. Remember you write your points as X comma Y. X is negative two, the Y is negative three. Next, we're gonna plug in zero. So I put a zero in for X, so I have zero minus one. Simplify it, that means I get Y equals zero. I'm sorry, Y equals negative one. Okay, so I get zero, negative one as my answer, okay? That's my X value is zero. The Y value we got was negative one. And that was the answer there. Now we're gonna put in a two, two minus one. That's gonna give us Y equals one. So I get the point two comma one. Now these should all line up in a row. So I should see these in a row like that. And I should be able to connect them all with a line. Okay, so let's go ahead and plot and see what they look like. Negative two, negative three. Start from zero, zero. We're gonna move two places to the left because it's the X value is negative. The Y value is negative also. So we're gonna go to the left and then down. Go to the left two places, then we're gonna go down three places. Next point is zero, negative one. Zero, is, you're on the uh, Y axis. You're not gonna go to the left or go to the right. You stay on the Y axis. Then we're gonna down one. That's the point zero, negative one. Then I have two comma one. Starting from zero, zero, we go two to the right because the X is positive there. We're gonna go up one since the Y is also positive. Notice how all these form a, they're all in a row so I can connect them with the line. Now, if you notice something where it's like going up like this and going down like that, that's not a straight line. So that's gonna tell you if your points are correct or not, you should be able to connect them through with a line like this. And then that right there uh, would be your answer. That, that's your line that's drawn. Let's do one more of these. Okay. Now, sometimes the, like this one, I had to solve for Y by using a little algebra there, but then sometimes it's already solved for you. So this one's already solved for us. So we can just go immediately into plugging numbers into it. So it's always good if the Y is solved already, that makes things easier that way. All right, so I'm going to put in a zero for the X. I have five times zero minus six. I get a zero. Five times zero is zero. I get zero minus six. That's going to give me Y equals negative six. The point is going to be zero and negative six. Next one is I put in a one for X. Take out the X, put in a one. Now this is 
5 minus 6. So y equals 5 minus 6. Now, if I simplify that, I get negative 1. So 1, negative 1 is my next point. Now I'm going to put in a 2. 5 times 2 minus 6. That's going to be 10 minus 6, which means I get y is equal to 4. So I get the point 2, comma 4. Now let's plot them to check to make sure we have them all in a straight line. 0, okay, 0, you're on the y-axis, and you just go down 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, negative 1, 1 to the right, and I'm going to go down 1 because the y is negative. And I have 2, 4. Over 2 and up 4. Both of those are positive. Go to the right and then go up. As you see, all three of them, they do form a nice line like that. So now I know I can just go ahead and connect those. And then that would be my answer. That would be my line. All right. So again, if you, if you don't have a line, if it's all goes out like this and comes in, bows out like that, then you want to go ahead back and check to make sure your points are right. They should always line up and form a straight line.